Hopefully. It will come up. I think there's about a 10 second delay. 10 seconds. Okay, I let you know when I can see it. So, are we going to be able to see any of the kids? No. 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 Like I said, I just wanted to do this as a just as a trial. So it's more yeah. more of like a um, it's more like a you know a follow and fo follow and copy and participate like the Joe work yeah, quick yeah. workout. But obviously, they can yeah, yeah. post in the comments. So yeah. So has anything come up yet? What? Well, yeah. I haven't got anything yet. It still says waiting for Southside coaching. Because um, what I'm looking for, I'm looking at some of the paid ones. I want to, it, it can't be that difficult to share your screen. And as part of your screen, you share your camera. And like you say, then you still have those able to type on the, bring up the slides and do the typing and stuff. So Yeah. I think you've done amazing to find this as a free one. But if we can find a, a paid one for like six months, yeah. then, and most of them seem to be hosts, they need two hosts or so. Right, let me just try because I've got a button on here that says view on YouTube. So I click on that. Let's have a here. Try. So now it's there. So I click on that. Let me refresh. Look, practice your movement. Try. So now it's there. Let me refresh. Look, practice your movement. Echo. 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 If you want me to message people, just say we just sort it out in case I was looking. Yeah, I might have to send a new link. I'm just, it might. Okay. Let me see if we just sort it out in case I was looking. MW. Yeah, I might have to send a new link. Okay. He said he is, but he won't be indoors. He said he is, but he won't be indoors. Don't keep going indoors with your shoes on. Don't keep going indoors with your shoes on. Well, I've just sent you a new link. For some reason, it's got a different um, home. So, you get it. Right, try now. Oh, my iPad's gone funny. Oh, you said it. Yeah. Yeah, Edward said it works. Brilliant. Off you go. Off you know, because otherwise you're just going to get lots of horrible feedback. Right. Mine's just loading. Yeah, I can see you. Right, I've just sent the new links to the to the um Sparta, to the Spartans and the Manticores.
Right. Okay. So I've got, I've got yeah, some people. So I've got. Uh, right. I've just sent the new links to the Spartans and Manticores. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank So we'll just give it a couple of minutes and hope, hopefully some more, more people can jump on with the new link. It's weird that it's not going to be changed. Sorry? Sorry. I'm getting you on two ways because I'm getting you on the thingy. I'll go further away. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we've got some more. What did mommy say? You're on the floor. Chris, you're still there? <laughs> yeah, I am, mate. We've got no picture. Uh, I'm just trying to find out where my iPad is showing its bookmark and won't go full screen on YouTube. It's really annoying. Hmm. Got it, mate. I'd start. I'd start. Go. Got you now. Oh, yeah. Got it, mate. I'd go. Is this Go on, mate. Got a couple more now. Steve, just so you know the screen, you can see me and you. I don't know if you want it just to be you. No, but at the moment, it, I, I thought just for the introduction that we just have both of us. Okay. Obviously, then when I okay. start to do the demo, then I'll just put it okay. single screen. Okay. Right. A couple more now. Go on, mate, I'll get going. Right. Thank you. Okay. Right, okay. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to the first attempt at a, um, a YouTube broadcast training session. So, obviously, we've had a few teething problems for the last couple of sessions with the, um, with the Zoom. So we're just giving this a well. So do the session, see what you think. Um, and then at the moment, what you think about it will be great. Mm -hmm. Obviously, then we'll make a decision. Oh, don't know. Just watch it there. Um, sticking with like a Zoom or whether we, uh, um, you know, try, try again with the Zoom, um, but obviously just tinkering with it a bit or whether we, whether you guys think that this format is better and you prefer that. Okay. Right. So today's session, obviously, with the weather, um, it's a little bit limited in terms of what we can do. So what we've done is we've planned a session. Um, it's just a full mastery. All you need is two markers. Just giving this a well. It's two meters apart. So this section, we're going back out to the beach so you can see. It'll be great. Um, sticking with like a two, or whether we uh, um... right okay so got two cones just uh just about two meters apart 
if you if you haven't got enough space it's fine to bring it in it's really not going to matter that much okay so just for a, a warm-up what we're going to do is we're going to um, work on on trying to get our foot speed up so what we're going to do if i get the phone so you can see from another angle as well right Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be doing step overs, no touch. So it's just around the ball one way and around ball the other. So we're just going to do this and just practice and just trying to get our speed up like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do that for 30 seconds and then we're going to stop and then we're going to rest. Okay, so just get yourself used to the movements. And when I say go, that will be the 30 seconds and then until I say stop. Okay, go. Okay, and relax. Shake your legs off. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to do quick feet around the ball. So, if you've got the ball, stand behind it. You're going to do quick feet around the ball, all the way around like this to get back to the starting position. Then you're gonna go back all around the other way. So back to the starting position. So you're gonna go right, left, right, left. So it's important to be light on your toes and move your feet as quickly as you can, but obviously without treading on the ball, okay? So get yourself used to it. Right, ready? Okay, go. Okay, and stop. Right, okay. Right. Are you there, Chris? No, okay. Right. Um, just want to say something that uh, quickly. So um, I've said about this with the with the Spartans before. Um, obviously, the man's cause not not said about this before. But um, one of the things that I've been very mindful about a lot of the workouts and a lot of the the training that we're doing here is. It's all very concentrating about you. It's, it's all ball mastery, but you're you're looking down at your feet a lot. So you're just concentrating on looking around your feet and not actually concentrating around um, your your surroundings. Um, so mastery. What I want to do is just concentrate on slides. So.
Right. Okay. So you've got two types of vision. You've got your peripheral vision and your central vision. So if you look here, you've got your central vision is the area that you can see that is clear in its in focus. And then your peripheral vision is all the stuff that you can see around that, like, like around this sort of area here. So I can see that my hands are moving, even though I'm looking in that direction. So as you see there, it's all clear in the central vision and then peripheral vision is all shaded and, and cloudy. Want this plane? Bear with me. I want to go on to the next slide. Okay, so so on here. You've got the area that's in focus. This is like the view that you'd be looking at on a football pitch. So um, this area here, it's in, fo it's in full focus so you can see detail. And also the area around, which is the in the orange, is the peripheral vision. It's great for seeing movement, but you can't see things in focus. Your vision is like a cone. So if you hit an object or a wall, the cone will be smaller. The further you are away from that object that you're going to hit, the cone gets bigger of your vision, as you can see in the diagram. So a player here, if he's looking down at the ground or looking down at the floor, his, because of it being a cone effect, his central vision is smaller and his peripheral vision of what he can see is smaller. As soon as that player gets their head up, their, their field of vision massively increases so that their central vision, what they can see clearly increases and also the peripheral vision increases. So a player would be looking down at the ground, he'd be seeing that. Whereas if he's got his head up, he can see much more of the picture. He'd be able to see like that. So I just want you to be aware of that for like when we're doing stuff like this, because... If you're if you're practicing and looking down all the time, you're just going to be used to used to that. So when we're doing all the stuff that we're doing today, I want you, if you can, to try and do it with keeping your head up more. So what you're doing is you're using your peripheral vision to to look around. Okay, right. Let's get let's get going. So now we're just going to be doing TikToks for thirty seconds. But again, like I said, really want to try and see if you can do it without looking down at the ground so much. So I want you to be trying to get your head up. So you'd be doing this, looking down, and then getting your head up. Looking down, head up. Looking down, head up. So like every every sort of like second or so, you'll get actually getting your head up. It's, it's a lot harder, and it's something that takes a lot of practice, but it's definitely something that's well worth doing. Okay, right. We're going to go for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Five more seconds. And stop. Okay. Just rest for a bit. Shake them legs off. Right. It's just much harder trying to do that. You're using your peripheral vision, the bit that you can't see clearly, but you just you can still see the ball even though you've got your head up. 
so you can have you can feel for the ball it's quite a tricky skill but once you get that you'll have be able to play with your head up much more right okay so we're going to do the TikToks again but if i turn this way we're just going to do them slightly on the move so we're just going to be going back to the cone and then turn around like this and then back the other way okay so give that a whirl and if we can try and do it with our trying to get our heads up a little bit more okay go So it's like head down, head up, down, up, down, up. Okay, stop. Okay, shake your legs off, couple of seconds rest. Right, so the next um, one we're going to do is a side roll. So that's getting your foot on the top of the ball and moving it across to the side, okay? So we're gonna move the ball across to the side and then we're gonna stop it with our opposite foot. So I'm gonna roll it with my right foot here, but then I'm gonna stop with my left. So roll with my right, stop with my left. And I'm gonna go roll with my left, stop with my right. So we're just gonna keep doing that and again, we're going to do it for 30 seconds. And again, if we can, try and do it as best we can, try to get your head up, okay? And go. And stop. Okay. So next, it's going to be side rolls. We're going to turn this way again. And it's going to be a side roll, but it's going to be a walk. So we're going to try and walk the ball forward. So side roll, stop. Side roll, stop. Side roll, stop but we're actually moving forward and back this time. Okay, ready? And go. Try and get that head up if you can. And stop. Okay, legs off. Okay, so this time we're going to do the same thing, but instead of stopping the ball, it's just going to be side rolls, one to the other. So like roll, 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 like that. And then moving up and down the cones like you were, okay? Okay, and go. So when you get comfortable in doing it, then you can try and build your speed up. But just go with it, whatever you feel comfortable. It's all about technique at this stage. So don't walk before you run. Get, get, get able to do it that you feel confident, and then you can just slowly build up the speed. Okay, and stop.
Right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a, a side roll, but where we stop it with the opposite foot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a side roll, but you're gonna block and stop the foot with the same foot. So over and put your foot there. Over and put your foot there. Over and there. Okay. Okay, like this, and put your foot there. So do that and then swap feet. So over there, over and there. Okay, so practice that. Ready? 30 seconds. Go. Okay, so practice that. Ready? 30 seconds. Go. Okay, and rest. Okay, so with this one, it gets it's the move is best done when you're able to get up some real good speed on it. So it's really worth practicing because what you got to do is you got to try and roll your foot over, and then you're trying to get your foot ahead of the ball. So you're rolling over, and then just doing a little nudge. And then you can get some really good foot speed up. Okay, right, we're going to practice that one again. And go. And relax. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a, we're going to progress on from that now. So we're going to do the same thing. So it's going to be a side roll, stop with the same foot. However, what we're gonna to look to do, we're gonna actually look to change direction and move with the ball this time. So you're actually gonna make a move. So I'm gonna roll with my left, stop with my right. Sorry, roll with my left, stop with my left, and then push the ball back that way and go with the ball. So like this. Show again. So you're actually making a purpose movement now to go in the opposite direction. So for this one, everybody's got a strong side and a, a, and a side that they're not so strong on. So for getting used to it and making it feel comfortable, if you find it difficult to try and do at the moment to do this whilst you're trying to do it. So I'm left footed. So my favorite side is on my left. So for do that, I find it much harder to go this way and, and then and change direction. So that's something that I need to work on as a player. So, just do what you feel comfortable. And if you want to try the other side, then be my guest, go for it. Okay, ready? 30 seconds, change in direction, side, step up, there, go.
Okay, and rest. So, when you can feel confident that you're able to do it, a good tip to make it feel like is that when you go across like here, you're almost jumping back with the ball and pushing it back the other way. So it's almost like a jump. And it's that movement that means that you're able to do it quickly. Okay? So it's almost being light on your feet, dragging over, little hop. So roll over, little hop when you do it, and then another hop back. So roll, hop, hop. That's what it's like. And that's what gets you that speed, okay? Have another try. Go. Okay, right, get yourselves a drink and, and we'll just have a, have a rest for a couple of minutes. I'm starting to feel a little bit out of breath, so I don't know if anybody else is, but now it's a good time to get a drink. Is there anything you want to say at this stage, Chris? No. I'm just using the opportunity to get a drink. If they want to type any comments about anything they, they want to ask, now's a good opportunity to, to type those comments. Chris, how, how has the stream been? Has it been okay in terms of what you've been able to watch and stuff? Has there been any... Um, any issues with it cutting in and out or anything? We're getting it two ways. I'm getting it on from you and then getting it live from Luke. So, no. all right, it's good. It's good. Yeah, you can, like you say, just in the background, you can hear, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to step away from it. Because Edward's um Edward's in the playroom. Sorry, Edward's in the playroom, so he's he's doing the same thing. So can you hear like, <laughs> like the, the the delay? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, right. If everybody's uh, happy to go for it, we'll um, we'll, we'll get, get the ball rolling again. I just realised I forgot I did have all the a lot of the banners set up already. So, so obviously, like now. So we've done the side rolls and we've done the side rolls changing direction. So we're now up to number seven now, which is side rolls, but we're going to have a step over in there as well. So I'll take the banner off because otherwise it's going to be difficult for you to see my feet. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a side roll and then it's going to go to a step over. So side roll, step over with your opposite leg like this. So again, nice and slow. Side roll, step over with your opposite leg. Okay. So what we want to do 
is we want you to be able to retrieve the ball back because I've done it really slow to show you. I want you to really be able to retrieve the ball back so that you still you're still working within your cone width. So and then retrieve the ball. So and then from the other side. So so you've got to be really quick with your other leg and you're almost just doing a, a big circle all around to retrieve the ball quick enough. Okay, right. So try that again, like what I said earlier about having a, a, a side that you're more comfortable with. If, until, if you don't feel comfortable yet in, in doing the move from both sides... Just practice on on the on the on the side you feel most comfortable to start with, and then and then you can look to progress that later. One of the good, one of the good things about this um, about having the the session on YouTube like this is that you'll be able to go back and you will be able to watch the session and you can redo the session again because it's it's saved to YouTube. So although it's a live stream, it's saved to the channel. So, right, we ready? And go. Okay, and stop and rest. It's very important to try and be light on your feet, knees bent, leaning forwards very slightly, just so that you're nice and nimble to react. You stood up straight, straight legged, flat on your feet like this. So much harder for you leg speed, whereas if you're hunched like this, you're able to move and react quicker. Okay, we'll give that one more go. Okay, go. And rest. Okay. Right. We have got about two or three exercises left. So not many. Okay. So this one we're going to be doing is a an L drag back. I'll see if I can get my camera up because it's probably... Better to see from my phone than what it is. Okay. Let me see if I can get it up on my phone for you guys. All right. Okay, right. So, so the L drag back is what it says on the tin. It's a drag back in the shape of an L. So, you drag your foot back, and when it goes behind you, you then push it to that side. So, nice and slow, drag back push to that side. So we're just dragging back and then push to the side behind your leg. So obviously from the opposite leg, it'd be like this. Right, 
Right. Okay. So, see if we can practice our L drag backs. Going to do them for 30 seconds. Okay, go. And rest. So, just a point to make about the L drag back. But when trying to do it at speed, is when you when you do it, you want to drag back. And when you do that bit there, you want to you want to jump with your yes, the let so. Um, not the leg that's doing the one behind here, but this leg, the front one, you almost want to do a little jump. What that does is it allows more room for you to kick the ball behind you so that you don't end up hitting your own legs trying to do it quickly, like, like that, okay? So you try and do it quickly in a quick move. Quite Sometimes you might hit your own leg like that. So if you do a little hop forward, at the same time, you can actually get some speed up. Okay? And it's these little hop movements that really help in making the moves effective and speedy. Okay? Right, ready? Give it a whirl, go. So I'm changing it around. I'm doing five on one side, and then I'm going to do five on the other. So So we're still trying to keep control of the ball inside the cones, okay? So this is where our ball mastery and our control comes from. Having control of the ball for the entire movement. Okay, and rest. So, last couple. So, get the banner up. So we're going to be doing chops, stationary chops. So the chop, see if I can get the second camera up. So it's stationary. So the ball's going to stay where it is. We're just going to do a little chop. Like that. Again, in the width of the cones, little chop. Okay, again, if you feel comfortable when you're doing it on one side, do it on one side. If you can, if you feel confident to try it on the other side, that'd be great. Okay, ready, go. Okay, and relax, rest. Right. So now we're gonna to look to start combining a couple of the moves. So so now we're gonna roll with the top of our foot to get the ball rolling. And then we're going to go to a chop. So we're going to roll the ball to start with the side roll to get the ball rolling. And then we're going to chop. Okay. Roll, chop. Okay. Again, if you feel comfortable doing it on one side, practice with that. 
and then when you feel comfortable, you can try the other leg. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, and rest. So I tried that on my week. Sorry, on my on my on my development side, I found that quite hard. So for me to go there and then chop on my opposite side, found it quite tricky. So doesn't matter how old you are, you can still work and improve. Right. So. This is gonna be our last move, our last combo for the session. Oh, wrong slide. There we go. So we're gonna do a, a side roll, step over, and then perform an L drag back. If you find it, if you find it too tricky at this stage, don't worry about it. Just practice one of the other moves that you, you feel more comfortable with. Um, but it'd be great if you could give it a try. Okay, I'll take that off. Go demo. So, side roll. Then a step over. And then a drag back. So, side roll. Step over, drag back, L drag back. Nice and slow. Step over, L drag back. So side roll, step over, all the way around, foot on the ball, L drag back. So okay, give that a whirl, see how you get on. This I would recommend just doing it on your stronger side, just for practicing. Okay, go. Okay, and rest. Right. I don't know if you found that one quite tricky or not. If you, if you if you were able to do it, brilliant. That's that's absolutely great. Like I said, if you want to, there's nothing stopping you guys watching this video again anytime. And if if there's any of the any of the moves that you're you're not comfortable with or you just want to watch again just to see, to get a feel. So, right, ready? Last time. Same thing again. 30 seconds. Really give a really good effort, best that you can for the last set of the uh, training session. Okay, ready? Go. And that's it. Okay. That's the end of the training session. Chris, is there uh, is there anything that you uh, 
that you want to add? Uh, no, nothing for me. I'd just like to get everyone's feedback. Thanks, Steve, for putting the time and effort to putting that together. Um, like you said, you can watch that back and, and practice anything that you've seen. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, Steve. No worries. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye.